Hello students. Now we will see question number 3 of exercise 4.2, 7 standard simple equations. Now we have already seen previous two questions, question 1 and question 2. In that question also, same question was there but there was only one step. We were doing only one step and we were getting the value of the variable. Now here more than two steps we will have to do. So the question is give the steps you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equation. So first of all you will show the steps that you will use to separate the variable. Now first question is 3n minus 2 equal to 46. Now here in our question 3n minus 2 equal to 46. So first of all we want to find the value of this variable. So whatever is attached with this variable, whatever terms are given, that we have to remove one by one. Okay. So first of all, this minus 2 we have to remove and then this 3 we have to remove. So now two things we will remove. So there will be two steps. Okay. In previous question, question number 1 and 2, there was only one step. So in one step, we got the value of the variable. But here, Two steps we will have to do more than one steps. So, whatever is connected with the variable, jo bhi variable ke saath diya hai, for example, this 3 is given, this minus 2 is given. So, that we will remove one by one. So, first we will remove this minus 2. Always whatever is given in plus or minus, that should be removed first. Okay, that uh, should be removed first. So, first step will be for this part, whatever is given in plus or minus. Then in next step, we will remove this 3n. So this 3 is connected to this n and which sign is there? Multiplication part. And then we will remove the number whatever is in multiplication or division. So always first we have to remove the number which is in addition or subtraction. Okay, so pehle jo bhi plus or minus mein diya hai, whatever thing is given that we will remove and then we will remove this 3. Pehle 3 nahi remove karenge. First we will remove this part and then this part. So one by one step by step we will do. So here in our first question 3n minus 2 equal to 46 is there. So first we will remove minus 2 and then we will remove 3. Okay. So minus 2 is given. So for removing minus 2 what we will do? What we will put here so that this minus 2 gets removed. So you know that we will put plus 2. Okay, we will put opposite of minus 2. So, opposite of minus 2 will be plus 2. So, ye hamara equation hai 3n minus 2 or is taraf hai equal to 46. So, yaha pe kya rakhenge? What we will put so that this minus 2 gets cancelled. It gets removed. It gets eliminated. So, we will keep plus 2. Now, whatever we do, that step we have to do on both sides. Okay. That also I told you in previous sum also we have seen both sides. So now both sides we will do plus 2. So this minus 2 and plus 2 will get cancelled. But here it will get added. So here we will add. So this side only 3n and this side 48. Then in next step we will remove this 3. So this way we have to do two steps in question number 3. So let us start our question number 3. Okay so. Here, first we will remove minus 2. So, for removing minus 2, we have to do plus 2. So, that is adding 2 on both the sides. So, our step 1 will be adding 2 on both the sides. So, we will do plus 2 on both the sides. So, our equation is 3n minus 2 equal to 46. This is our equation. Now we will do our step. Our step is adding 2. So here we will write plus 2. Here also we will write plus 2. Okay. Why we are writing plus 2? Because we want to remove this minus 2. Now minus 2 and plus 2 means it becomes 0. It gets cancel off. You can cancel like this. So this side only 3n is left. And this side 46 plus 2 will give you 48. So step 1 is over. Now step 2. For step 2 now you have to think that what we will have to remove and how. So we want the value of n. n equal to something humko lana hai. n equal to something we have to find out the value of 
this variable n. So now minus 2 removed. Now what we have to remove? 3. So for removing this 3, this 3 is in multiplication. No sign means multiplication. So 3n. So it is 3 multiplied by n. So what is opposite of multiplication? I told you opposite of multiplication is division. So now our step 2 will be step 2 will be dividing by 3. Jo number nikalna hai. 3 nikalna hai. So we want to remove 3. So we will divide by 3 on both the sides. So second step will be divide by 3 on both the sides. So now our second step will be div uh, division. We will divide. So this is our equation 3n equal to 48. Now both sides divide by 3, divide by 3. Okay. So now what will happen? This 3 and 3 cancelled. Here also cancellation is possible. 3 ones are here. 3 ones are 3. 1 8 18 left means 3 6 18. So 16. So now this side n left and this side equal to 16. So see. Now we got the value of the variable and now there is no number with the variable. Only n is there. n equal to something we got. So n equal to 16. This is the answer of the variable. Okay. So this was first sum. Now second one is. This is our second question. 5m plus 7 equal to 17. Now we have to find the value of this variable m. Okay. So again what will be our first step. So, whatever is in plus or minus that we have to remove first. And then we have to remove this number which is in multiplication. Okay. So, plus 7 we will remove first. So, what is opposite of plus 7? It is minus 7. So, we have to keep minus 7 on both the sides. So, you can write subtracting 7. Okay. We will subtract 7 on both the sides. So, our uh, first step will be here our first step will be subtract 7 from both the sides. So from both the sides we will subtract 7. So here it was 5m plus 7 equal to 17. This is our equation. Now when we will write minus 7 here also and minus 7 here also. So here minus 7 and plus 7 will get eliminated. It will become 0. It will get cancelled. Now this side, what is left? Only 5m is left. And this side 17 minus 7 means 10 is left. Okay, so first step is done. Now you have to think that now what we can do for finding this m. Okay, so now 5 is to be removed. First we have removed 7. Now we will remove this 5. So 5 is in multiplication. So again we will do division. So our second step will be. So our step 2 will be. In this our second step will be. We have to divide by 5. We divide both sides by 5. This side 5 will be cancelled. So our second step will be. Divide by 5 on both the sides. So our equation is 5m equal to 10. So here also divide by 5. Here also divide by 5. Now. Whenever you solve equation in the beginning, this three dots you need to keep. This means therefore. Okay, this is the symbol of therefore. And here equal to. So therefore sign everywhere it will come till the end. So that you need to keep in the beginning. Now this 5 and 5 cancelled. So now what is left? M. And this side also cancellation is possible. 5 1s and 5 2s. So M equal to 2. So now we got the answer of the variable. So this way by doing the steps one by one you get the answer of the variable. Now third question is. Third one is 20p upon 3 equal to 40. So this is our third equation. Now we have to think that what we will do over here. Because fraction is given right. 20p upon 3 is given. So now this is also very simple. 20p upon 3 equal to 40 okay so now this fraction is given 20 upon 3 so in this 20 p upon 3 this 20 is in multiplication okay there is no sign between 20 and p so 20 is in multiplication with p and 3 is in division so first you will have to remove this 20 then you will have to remove this 3 
so there will be two steps or you can do in one step also you just have to take the reciprocal so 20 upon 3 is given if you multiply by 3 upon 20 then 20 20 cancel 3 3 cancel and only p will be left so if you multiply by its reciprocal then also you can get in one step or you can remove one by one okay so one by one we will do so you can choose any number whichever you want to remove first so here our question is 20p upon 3. So, 3 is in division. Suppose if you want to remove this 3 first. Agar aapko 3 nikalna hai pehle. So, 3 is in division. So, what is opposite of division? It is multiplication. So, for removing this 3, we will multiply by 3 on both the sides. Okay. So, our first step will be multiply by 3 on both the sides. Therefore, our equation is 20p upon 3 equal to 40. So, as our step is written, multiply by 3. So, here also we will multiply by 3 and here also we will multiply by 3. Now, what will happen? This 3 and 3 will get cancelled. And this side, only 20p is left. 3 and 3, nickel jayega, cancel ho jayega. It will get cancel out. And this side, 4 3s are 12 and 0 so 120 so our step 1 is done now we will think about step 2 okay now this 20 p is left with us and this 20 if we remove we get the value of the p so this 20 is in multiplication no sign means multiplication so now to remove this 20 it is in multiplication so what is opposite of multiplication division so now we will do divide so divide by 20 on both the sides so our equation is 20p equal to 120 this is our equation now we will divide by 20 here also we will divide by 20 now 20 and 20 cancelled here 0 and 0 will get cancelled 2 ones are and 2 six are. so this side only P is left and this side 6 is left. So now we got the answer of the variable and nothing is left with the variable. So P equal to 6 is our answer. So this was third one. Now fourth question is, now third one is 3P upon 10 equal to 6. This is also same as the previous sum. Uh, sorry, fourth one. This is the last one. So our first step, step 1 will be, see, 3P upon 10. So, again this 3 is in multiplication. So, for removing 3, we will do divide. Divide by 3. And this 10 is given in the denominator. 10 niche di hai. So, 10 is in division. So, for removing 10, we will do multiplication. So, jo multiplication mein hai, uske liye division karenge. Aur jo division mein diya hai, uske liye multiplication karenge. Opposite. Okay. So, our first step will be, first we will remove this 10. You can remove 3 also. Okay, here you can take any step first. Either you can remove 3 first or you can remove 10 first. Whichever you like, you can start by any step. So now, first I will remove 10. So 10 is in division. So I will do opposite. Opposite of division is multiplication. So I will multiply, multiply both the sides by 10. I will multiply both the sides by 10. So our equation is i am writing the equation as it is okay now our step is multiply by 10 so isko bhi multiply kar denge and this side also multiply by 10 now here this 10 and 10 cancelled after multiplying okay therefore what is left this side only 3p is left now coming to this side so this side 6 tens are 60 is left so step 1 is done now now from here we will do step 2. So what will be our step 2? Now 10 is removed. Now 3 is left. Only 3 is left. So 3 is in multiplication. So for removing 3, what is opposite of multiplication? It is division. So now we will divide. So we will write divide by 3 on both the sides. So, our equation is 3p equal to 60. This is our equation. Divide by 3. Here also divide by 3. We are dividing by 
a 3. So, here 3 and 3 cancelled. Okay. Why we are dividing by 3? Because we want to remove this 3. Okay. Whatever is given with the variable that we have to remove. So, 3, 3 cancelled. Here 3 1s are and 3 2s are 6. So, 20 will come. Now, here only P left and here equal to 20. So, this is our answer of fourth sum. So, this was question number 3. Hope you understood.